Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about a subject and actually it's a question that I get asked all the time in my shop online and I just want to talk about it as to why I do not remove spark arrestor screens from two cycle equipment. So basically you're going to have a spark arrestor screen on any two cycle equipment like this. On every new chainsaw you will find one on grass trimmers, on leaf blowers even. And there could be spark arrestor screens on other equipment that I'm forgetting to mention today as well. So again, that question is, why don't you remove spark arrestor screens from equipment that comes in your shop? Well, my answer to that is I don't because there are laws to follow as a technician. If you as a homeowner remove the spark arrestor screen, there's probably not too many laws against that. However, as a technician or a mechanic, you should not remove it because there are liabilities that you could be responsible for. And one of the main liabilities is that if the spark arrestor is removed and it happens to cause a forest fire and it's found out that that piece of equipment was in your shop, you remove the spark arrestor screen for the customer, then guess what? You're going to be liable for that. And depending on where you live, the fines and the lawsuits could be quite heavy. Now for some of you guys watching, you might be wondering, why would you want to remove a spark arrestor screen in the first place? Well, the reason why a lot of people remove the spark arrestor screen is because the screen itself ends up getting plugged. And especially on a lot of two cycle equipment, that little screen may get plugged if you have too much oil in your gas, if you're not revving the engine high enough sometimes. And what happens over time, guys, is that your equipment will lose power gradually until one day it will not run at all. So that's the main reason people like to remove completely that spark arrestor screen from their equipment. So what I've got here is an MS-170 chainsaw. I'm going to show you where the spark arrestor screen is. It's right here, you remove the two nuts over here. And by the way, this is an eight millimeter T-wrench. And once you remove this cover, you can see the spark arrestor screen. I'm just going to get it out of here. And this gives you a good idea of what a spark arrestor screen looks like. Basically, it's just a screen. And what happens over time is the carbon builds up on this screen and it plugs the flow of the exhaust out of the engine. And that's where you start to have problems with your equipment. And in most cases, if you completely remove this screen, put the cover back on with the two nuts, you may find that you actually have a bit more power in your chainsaw. Sometimes I've seen people make bigger holes in the screen and still put it back on. But either way, like I said, you're probably going to notice a power increase if you remove this screen. Now on this Husqvarna chainsaw here, you would have to remove the center nut here. This cover would come off and there's a screen behind there. Depending on your equipment, you will find a screen in different places. It will look different from equipment to equipment. For example, this is a spark arrestor screen from a steel FS38 to FS55 trimmer. This one here screws into the muffler. This one does have a tendency to get clogged. And I do have a video showing how to clean the spark arrestor screen on your steel trimmer. And I have put the link under the video today so that you can click on it, watch it, so that you can unplug it yourself. It's a quick procedure. Basically, I just heat up the spark arrestor screen with a propane torch. I heat it up until it's red hot and all the carbon is burnt off. Once the carbon's burnt off, it's just going to turn to ashes. And then with a wire brush, you can just scrape it and it's going to be clean like this again. Now, personally, it's not something that I recommend you do because if you do work around areas that could be prone to catch on fire, for example, you could easily cause a forest fire if sparks do come out of the muffler. Now, the odds of that are pretty slim, I think, but it has happened, especially in the States, uh, like in California, for example, it's quite hot all the time. It's not the same weather here where I live, so it probably would never happen. But if we get a drought here in the summer, we can get some really dry trees or soil, whatever, and it could cause a forest fire. But again, I get customers that get so fed up with the screen getting clogged up in their MS-170s and steel trimmers that they just go ahead and remove them. So at this point here, I'm just going to put this one back on.
Now a few tips on how to prevent this from happening guys is to use good two cycle oil. This is all I use in my equipment here in the shop and all the fuel that I have in the shop is mixed with this. So if a customer has a piece of equipment they just picked up, it's going to have fuel mixed in with this oil here. And make sure to use good premium fuel without any ethanol in it. And also another tip to prevent the thing from clogging up is to not rev your equipment low all the time because if it's not revving high enough sometimes this can cause the spark rester screen to get clogged up over time. Now you don't have to rev it wide open all the time. Basically what I'm saying here is don't use it all the time at a very low speed because that increases the chances of it clogging up. And also depending on how often you use your equipment it's not a bad idea to check it every year or every six months. Just take the cover off like I showed you, take the screen out, heat it up with the torch and put it back in. This way here you're actually going to prevent it from happening to you when you least expect it. So those are the main reasons guys I do not remove the spark arrestor screens from my customers equipment. Thanks again for watching and make sure to follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.